June 24, 1982. British Airways Flight 9 cruises through the sky over Indonesia. While many of the passengers have been traveling for almost a day, the crew is fresh. They took control of the last stopover in Kuala Lumpur. Captain Eric Moody got his first taste of flying at the age of 16 when he took a gliding lesson. He was one of the first ever trained on the 747. Roger, check with Jakarta. Jakarta Control, Speedbird 9 over Halim at level 370. Speedbird 9, Roger. First Officer Roger Greaves has been a co-pilot for more than six years. Barry Townley Freeman has been a flight engineer on these aircraft for just a little longer. I'd not flown with Eric before, uh, or Barry. Um, that was the first time we'd actually, we'd actually met on that, uh, that flight. As the jet flies over the city of Jakarta, it's cruising at more than 36,000 feet and has been in the air for an hour and a half. Captain Moody checks his weather radar. It shows smooth sailing for the next 300 miles. All right, Roger, it's all clear. Just keep your eyes open. I'll be back in a moment. Just got to use the loop. In the cockpit, the flight takes an unsettling turn. Barry and I were just sitting there minding the shop. Pitch dark night, of course. And then we started to get these pinpricks of light on the, on the windscreen. See, no moves fire. I don't think so. It's not moving the way it should. St. Elmo's fire is a natural phenomenon that's sometimes seen when planes fly through highly charged thunderclouds. But there aren't supposed to be any thunderclouds tonight. I think we better get the captain back up here. It smelled like a sort of a sulfuric electrical smell. And I went on that flight deck expecting to hear that we had some electrical smoke somewhere on the aircraft. But uh, nothing was further from the truth. When did it start? Or just after you stepped out? Anything on radar? No, it's clear, not a cloud. Oh, my lord, look at engine four. It's lit up somehow. Captain, Captain, have a look at number one. It's the same on my side. None of the crew have ever seen anything like this before, but the light show is just the beginning. Their bizarre flight is about to take a terrifying turn for the worse. As the fire engulfs the engines, one of them revs loudly and flames out. Engine failure, number four. Fire action, number four. Checklist, power and gear, set. Thrust lever, closed. Start lever, off. And then the unthinkable happens. Number two, engine's gone. All right then, begin the engine shutdown. No, wait! We've all gone. Our four engines have failed. The other three just went out almost immediately, and that's when it begins to be a serious emergency. 